Hi, welcome back to my channel, According to Cat. If you're new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. If you're returning, just say hi. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. And please give this video a thumbs up. And what are we going to be making today? Okay. So today we're going to be making these three rustic DIYs. What I love about these is they can be winter and or Christmas decor. And I love the log cabin look of them. So that one of the things we're going to be making is this snowball slash ornament. I really love how it turned out. One of the other things we'll be making is this ski lodge sign. I love the deer head on it. And last but not least, these two deer. I love the primitive look of them, the very simpleness of them. and yeah they're cool so if you want to learn how to make all three of these rustic log cabin -y type diys make sure you stay tuned if you'd like to know what supplies i've used please check out the description box below and with all that being said let's get right into the video okay diy number one ski lodge sign okay so the first thing you're going to need is this sign from the Dollar Tree they have many different kinds of these signs it doesn't matter what's written on it we're going to be covering that anyway I tried to rip off the paper that's on the top of it and it did not work so I'm going to cover both sides with some mineral chalk paint you do not need to color the back of it or where the words are I don't like an unfinished product but if it doesn't bother you by all means no one's gonna see it so you may leave it just like that I'm giving both sides a good coat and then I'll go back to the back side which is now going to be the front side and give that a second coat with my mineral chalk paint that you get at Walmart the Waverly brand I am taking a sanding piece of sanding paper from Dollar Tree and I'm just giving the edges a sanding just to I don't know smooth them out then I'm taking my square I get the square at the Dollar Tree. I use it all the time and I love it. And I'm taking a Sharpie and making them into faux boards. And I decided I want each of the faux boards to be a different color. So I'm using the Waverly brand chalk paint in Moss Elephant Hazelnut. Here is white and then the top and bottom will be truffle. Okay, so I'm giving them more of a like, I don't know, a striated coat. I didn't cover it completely and I wanted to go back and give it some more layers so I just left it like this okay so now I'm using the truffle at the top and I'm going back with some Waverly chalk paint in is that the oh that's still the truffle and I'm going back over each of those faux boards and giving it a different layer of the truffle now i'm taking the elephant which is a dark gray and i'm using a stiff brush which also means i did not wash it from a previous day <laughs> and it's really stiff so it's working in my favor to make really um straight lines uh but also giving it that grooved effect and now i take my sanding sponge or sandpaper and i'm giving it all a good sanding so that i get some of those striations to blend together and it gives it that weathered look that i wanted so i'm really happy with that now this tray is from michael's it is 99 cents so it's under a dollar and i am using that to hold my deer head you may use one of those dollar tree box frames but i had this one stained already so i thought use what you have and that's what i did i took off this outer layer of that deer ornament from the dollar tree and to me it looks like barbed wire i know it's not it's like this i don't know like a wreath around it i did not use that took it off took off that um little greenery around the deer's neck deer the deer's neck yeah because it would be deers because it's yeah ownership the deers nah, whatever okay anyway that's the teacher in me okay so now we're going back and using some fix all and some hot glue to attach both the tray to the sign and the head to the tray okay there we go i'm just centering that up and now i take some dollar tree wooden letters these i'm spelling out ski lodge I only needed one pack because you only needed one of each letter to spell out these two words. Now I'm taking this Dollar Tree arrow stickers and I will put them at the bottom of the sign 
I just stuck it on. I didn't put any hot glue or anything. It was fine. It doesn't give me a problem, so I'm fine with it. I took some hot glue and I glued on all of my letters. And I like that the lines are there because it helped me keep them straight. I am taking some hot glue to take twine and I want to make the edges very stiff so I can put it through the holes at the top of that sign that were those holes were originally there. So I'm putting that through and I'll put make a knot on the front on either one of those signs. If you need to make that hole bigger, you can take a pen. I used a screw and I just kind of like turned it inside that hole to enlarge it. And here I'm making my knots. Again, you don't need to hang this. I put this on because I probably will end up hanging it. My son wants it for his room, so I'll probably hang it in there. Um, but you could also just leave it and put it up against a wall as well. This is the greenery at the top of an ornament. I used the ornament, didn't use the top greenery. So now I will use it now. I just basically pluck everything off of it and I'm gluing it at the base of the deer head. Now I know this needs a little something, so what do you think we'll use? Let's go with some pine cones, because you know how much I love those stinking pine cones from the Dollar Tree. I'm like addicted to them. I've been using them in pretty much every project I've been doing. I'm just taking off any excess hot glue, the strings, and I think I put three on. And it's pretty much done, I think. Is it done? Yeah, I think so. And I love the way it looks. Now. When you are buying that deer head ornament, be careful. Look at the top of it. Do you see that little glue, that little glue speck? Like it's, I don't know. It was just excess glue and it bothered me because I have issues. All right, DIY number two, rustic deer figures. These are amazing. Love, love, love. Okay, so originally I cut out a an image of a deer and I was going to trace that onto the fabric and then cut it out and there you go. But then I realized I wanted something more primitive and simple looking, so I decided to cut it freehand. I didn't draw anything because I know I would try to perfect it and I didn't want to do that. So these three fabrics are left over from a little bundle of fabrics I got from Walmart in the fabric section. I loved them. These fabrics were great, but you may also use fabric from the Dollar Tree, use those scarves, whatever. They have so many different types of fabrics there, or use what you have already in your stash. So I make three different sized deer. I only end up using two of them because the black and white buffalo print one, I end up screwing up because when I turned it inside out, I put holes in it and then, I don't know, I made a mess of it, so I didn't use that one. All right, so basically I'm going around the outline of the deer except for the bottom I left that open because that's where I'm going to put the legs so I just go around it when I was cutting this out I just kind of thought horse I'm going to cut it looking like a horse and then I'll make it look like a deer in the end with some antlers so this is where I put a hole and I put this in and like pops out the top so yeah that didn't work out I tried to fix it but it was just a hot mess so I I just threw that one out trash that one Okay, so now I'm taking the median sized one and I'm turning it inside out. And the head is a little small because, you know, you got to leave some excess fabric there because the hot glue will take up some space. But I was okay with it in the end. Again, I wanted it very simple, so it was okay. So I'm taking my skewer and that's what I'm going to use for the legs. And I kind of poked the head out a little bit and I did both deer like this. And I took some stuffing and or you can use cotton balls whatever you have and I just put a little bit in I didn't overstuff it I just put a little bit in to give it some weight some heft and I am going to take those skewers those are actually really nail cuticle pushers they are wood and they have like a sharp end and like a dull end and I use those because that's what I have I have a bunch of those so I use that but you can also just use skewers and just break them so this is the mommy deer and I made sure the skewers are the same height and I did not tuck that fabric in when I glue it down. I literally just glued it flat and if there were some fuzz hanging out that was okay. I went back and cut it with my scissors. These scissors I'm using aren't even sharp and they cut perfectly fine because when you put that hot glue on that fabric it becomes really stiff. So it was really easy to cut and then I just cleaned it all up and there you go. What I did forget to do was put 
like a hole at the top of the head to put my antlers in which is okay because I went back with something sharp and I just went in there and it's one of those nail cuticle pushers and I made a little hole um, and I put the antlers in I end up breaking these antlers because I was a little rough with them you'll see in a second so I just take two pieces and I shove them in and glue it closed so I think it's right here where I break it like I push with a little too much might and crack so I just ripped it apart put two pieces in glued it shut and end a story I think it is so adorably cute so I'm taking my second one adding a little stuffing and I will be doing the same thing I'm going to take two skewers however I will take them and break them a little bit because I wanted the legs to be shorter and oh I'm adding actually the antlers first on this one so I made a little hole at the top and I took two smaller pieces of two smaller sticks that I had from just outside and I put those in I'm taking that skewer just to push some of that hot glue in I hold it closed for a second so everything kind of like melds together um, a little more stuffing and then I will take two of those cuticle pushers slash skewers and break them so that the legs are shorter than the mama the mama's legs all right so at this point crack and crack and then I make sure they are about the same height they are and I insert those I glued the bottom the same way straight across pushed it down any fuzz sticking out, out, I cut off in the end, and it was super easy to do so. These are just ridiculous. They're so cute. You know what I love about them is those little skinny legs and the big upper body. Like, that is so funny to me. And those, like, skinny antlers. Like, that's funny to me. So you see that fuzz at the bottom? I cut that off. And then I realized it still needs something. So let's add a tail to these cute little deer. And I end up using, what? Of course we use pine cones as a tail. Because that's just, why wouldn't we, right? So I take little pine cones from the Dollar Tree, that, that bag of them. And I just put it right on the end. I found two smaller ones. I didn't want it to look too big and awkward. So there you go. There's one. Here's the other. If you want to put ears on them, you may. I didn't. Again, it was more of that primitive shape. If you want it to look more like, I don't know, Rudolph, you could put like a little red berry at the nose. It's up to you. However you want to do it. But I liked it just like this. Very rustic. So I used this like kicking board. It's kind of like those pool, noodle, pool noodles from the Dollar Tree. And it inserts right in. And then I was thinking, oh, you could put the Spanish moss around it, glue that on. But I ended up not doing that because I had these pieces of the balsam wood that I got from Hobby Lobby. And they're super soft. The wood's super soft that you can just take those skewers and it just goes right into the board. And I really liked the way that looked. So that's what I used. These are the greenery stems from the Dollar Tree. And I glued two on the front. So basically it's one, but I cut them in half and made two. And I put that right on the front. And I took some red berries from the Dollar Tree and I took a little sprig of that and I put it right in the center. Now, I took some pine cones. I originally took the white ones and I was like, no, I want to use the regular ones um, to glue on. So I used those. And then I took some sprigs of Joanne Fabric greenery that I bought because they're just really pretty. And I think it spruces up the Dollar Tree greenery. And I lay that right on top. So right there, you can see I glued it on. I miss, I don't know, I misplaced that footage. Okay, so that was it. So DIY number three, last but not least, snowball ornament slash just snowball. So I take these um, foam balls from the Dollar Tree and this hat from the Dollar Tree and it has like that fluff on the inside or I don't know what is that stuff called fleece yeah like fluffy fleece and I kind of wrapped it around the ball with my hand and then I cut off any excess fabric I'm taking a ton of hot glue putting it at the bottom where the bottom of the ball will be and I'm just pulling the fabric up around the foam 
styrofoam ball. I keep saying foam, but you know, it's styrofoam. And I'm adding some more and I will keep pulling that fabric up, but I'm pulling the fabric pretty taut as I'm pulling it up so that it's like really tight to the ball. The fabric's tight to the styrofoam ball. All right, at that point, I will take my scissors and cut off any excess fabric again. And actually I do it one more time because I just want all that off. You will be hiding that all at the top, but I didn't want any excess fabric because it's just going to be too like fluffy up there. All right, so I added some more hot glue in there and all at the top and I just kind of smushed it down. You won't see all that. So I did my best. It's going to be covered. So here we go. So I take some Joanne greenery. I take some Dollar Tree greenery and I'm placing it all in the top in any formation you want. I used the greenery greens, the ties first, and I used one piece and I cut it into fourths and I put like four sprigs sticking out and that covered up most of it. Now, I think this greenery is great as a backdrop, but as a focal point, not so much. Like I just feel I don't know. It's not as pretty as other greenery. So I use that as the backdrop. And then I will take some greenery from Hobby Lobby. Not Hobby Lobby. I lie. From Joanne Fabrics. And I will put little sprigs of that on top. Right here. And I just layered it on. And that covered up most of the top of it. So you can't really see any of that. At this point, you may hit, put a piece of twine or a hanger and glue that on. I didn't. I'm a, I could always go back and add that. At this point, I didn't know what I was going to do with it, if I was going to hang it on my tree or leave it on the table. So I didn't, but you can at this point. So now I'm taking some red... Um, they're not cranberries. What are they called? Berries. Oh my gosh. Stop it. All right. So now I'm taking those red berries, and I put a little sprig of that at the top. And then, like, I think, what does it need? Oh, I know pine cones. Let's add some more. I love these stinking little things. These little, those are so cute. I hope Dollar Tree continues to carry them because I love them. All right. Look how cute this is. Now I'm just taking off any excess, I don't know, hot glue strings. So pretty. The final reveal, here it is, my favorite part of the video. So the first thing we have is this ski lodge sign very rustic, very log cabin-y. Then I have these adorable deer, like I can't really stand how much I love those. And this really cool ornament snowball thing that's also, I think, very pretty. I used a can upside down. I just use that as a way to display it. I won't keep it like that, but just so you can see it against the white of the paper. Okay, and this is what it looks like. There's the bottom of where the deer are. And yeah, I just love how all three of these turned out. Okay, so now we're at the part of the video where I tell you my favorite. I am gonna go for those deer. I can't because they are ridiculously cute. Now it's your turn to tell me in the comments below which one of these is your favorite. I'm so excited to hear. So that's it, that's the end of my video. I hope you liked everything you saw here and I hope it inspires you to make something of your own. If you have not checked out my Instagram, please do so at Cat Luna Designs. And thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye. What is next?